need it. God said it, you need it. <laughs> so, he didn't leave that choice to you. The type of shepherds that God is raising up, he didn't leave that to you. And if he didn't leave it to you, you don't have a right to change it. That means he has the final say so. Now, I do know we'll talk about some other type of leaders that ain't quite correct. We'll talk about that too. I mean, every leader ain't correct. You got some rogue leaders out there, but there are some good leaders out here. I was telling the prophet yesterday, I think it was, we got some churches, other churches growing. And come, I mean, growing. Joining Jolly, put it that way. We have other churches. Churches, it was more churches than Jolly. It's been a long, long time. I'm talking about non denominational churches. We always have religious churches. We're talking about churches that are non denominated all across it. Am I the only one seeing it? Every time I run into people and find a pastor over here, I'm like, where you at? Oh, I'm over here. Where you at? I'm over here. This church is popping up everywhere. I'm not here to, you know, to editorialize if they're legitimate or not. They ain't no money. I don't, that's too big for me to try to, I can't follow that. That's not my script. But I'm just saying, God is raising some things up because ministries exist because of the people. Moses got his assignment because of the groaning of the people. You need to understand that. This ministry exists because of the groaning that's in you. God never sends them. Remember? We'll talk about that. When Jesus looked out and seen those people that were dismayed and discouraged over there in Matthew 9. Am I right? They said they were depressed and everything. He said, let me do something about this situation. So he went and took some, he made shepherds first. But he took those 10 apostles, or 12 apostles, and they spent time with them. And he sent them. They became apostolic. But he didn't raise shepherds because until he found out that the people's condition was not necessarily correct. So then he raised up ministries and leaders that would tend to the people. So I do say my assignment is to tend to you. I just got to get us to understand that it's not all about you. Right? Okay, it's about us. Father, we bless you and thank you for this. You're doing with us, you're leading us, you're guiding us, you're strengthening us, you're exhorting us. Doing all the things that's necessary for us. Give us an opportunity, a window.